Hello students you are warmly welcome to my youtube channel education wmh in this video i am going to discuss a grade 8 second term test paper for the upcoming term test i invite you to subscribe my channel and watch more videos regarding term test papers then you will be able to get a high mark in your term test first question we are given this ratio uh, 12 to blank equal to 36 to 15 how to find the answer here here 12 is multiplied by 3 to obtain 36 so this number should be multiplied by 3 to obtain 15 so the answer is 5 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 then in second question uh, if 20 uh, 28 multiplied by 43 equal to 1204 write down the value of 0.028 multiplied by 43 here if you neglect the decimal point here you uh, You uh, have to multiply twenty-eight by forty-three here. Then the answer is one thousand two hundred four. So we have to keep three decimal places in the answer. So the answer is one point two zero four. Question number three. We are given this to simplify four over nine, multiplying by two one over four. We have to convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. Four times two is eight. Eight plus one is nine. Then nine over four. Then we can uh, simplify the common factors here. Nine times one. Nine times one. Four times one. Four times one. One times one is one. One times one is one. One over one is equal to one. Then question number four. We are given this triangle. In the triangle, the three interior angles are A, two A, and three A. Find the value of A. We know that the interior angle sum of a triangle is one hundred eighty degrees. So we can write the equation A plus two A plus three A equal to one hundred eighty degrees. Then six A equal to one hundred eighty degrees. A equal to one hundred eighty divided by six. That is thirty degrees. Question number five. We are given to solve this simple equation. N over four minus one equal to three. As the first step, we have to add one to both sides to remove this minus one. N over four minus one plus one. Equal to three plus one. Here minus one and plus one can be cancelled. Then n over four is remaining here. Equal to three plus four. One is four. Now we can multiply both sides by four, as n is divided by four here. So four to four you can remove n is remaining. N equal to four times four is sixteen. Question number six. Uh, we are given uh, this mixed number to as uh, write as a decimal number. Six thirty six over forty. I am going to separate this whole number part and the fractional part like this. Then I am going to convert this fraction into a fraction with denominator with a power of ten. For that, I am multiplying this forty by Twenty-five to convert it to thousand. Six plus thirty-three multiplied by twenty-five over forty multiplied by twenty-five. Then six plus um, here forty multiplied by twenty-five is thousand. Then we have to multiply this twenty-five into thirty-six. Thirty-three, then seventy-five. Here also seventy-five, then five. 
825. Now we can write this decimal number as 6.825. Question number 7. Find the value of 62.32 multiplying by 3.48. 3 this is the one. First, we have to remove this decimal point and take the number here. This whole number is 6232. Then it should be multiplied by 348. Uh, 6232 multiplying by 348. 8 times 2 is 16. 1 is remaining. 8 times 3 24 plus 1 is 25, then 2 is remaining. 8 times 2, 16. 16 plus 2 is 18, then 1 remaining. 8 times 6 is 48. 48 plus 1 is 49. 4 times 2, 8. 4 times 3, 12. 1 remaining. Uh, then 4 times 2, 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 4 times 6, 24. 3 times 2, 6. 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 2, 6 again. 3 times 6, 18. Now we have to add this. 6, 8 plus 5 is 13. 1 is remaining. Then uh, 6 plus 2, 8 uh, plus 8 is uh, 16. 16 plus 1 is 17. 1 remaining. 9 times 3, 27. 27 plus 3 is 28. 2 remaining now. Um, here uh, 6 8, 6, uh, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 6 is 14, uh, 14 plus 2 is 16, 1 is remaining, 8 uh, plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, then uh, 1 plus 1 2. This is the answer. So we have to keep 4 decimal places in the answer. Then the answer will be 216.8. 736. Then question number 8. Question number 8. Order of rotational symmetry of a regular octagon. In a regular octagon, we have 8 symmetrical axes. So, uh, the order of rotational symmetry also 8. Question number 9. Find the value of 2 to the power 2 multiplied uh, by 5 to the power 2 multiplying by 3 to the power 2. We can write this as a uh, power of a product. 2 times 5 times 3 to the power 2. In here 30. 5 times 2 10. 10 times 3 is 30. 30 to the power 2. Then that is 900. Question number 10. Find the value of square root of 900. We have to divide 900 with prime factors. What is the first prime number? 2. Start from 2. 2 times 450. Again and divide it by 2. Then 225. Now you can't divide by 2, then take 3. 3 times 7, 21. Then for 15, 3 times 5. Then again divide by 3, 25. Again divide by 5, 5 times 5. Now 5 times 1. Until you get 1 here, you have to repeat the division. Now you can write uh, this as 2 uh, times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 5. Then the square root of this one. Uh, now I can write this as I am taking uh, distinct numbers. 2 here 3. 3 and 5. Then the power of that one. In the square root of this. Then I can remove the square to the square root. Then uh, 2 times 3 times 5. Then the answer is 30. Question number 11. 
how many 2.4 meter length pieces can be cut using a 72 meter pipe 72 should be divisible by divided by 2.4 here to convert 2.4 into whole number i can multiply this by 10 then this 72 also should be multiplied by 10 then 720 over 24 then for 72 we have 324 then we have to put another zero then uh, we can cut 30 pieces from this uh, piece of pipe then question number 12 we have this question the ratio among the heights of Saman, Suresh and Kasim is 5 to 4 to 6 respectively. If the height of Suresh is 96 centimeters, find the height of Kasim. The part of Suresh in this ratio is 4. So four by 4, they have given uh, the height as 96 centimeters. The Kasim's part in this uh, ratio is 6. We have to uh, find this. Now, first I will divide this 96 by 4. 4 times 2, 8. Then for 16, we have 4 times 4. Then uh, this should be multiplied by 24. 6 times 4 is 24. 2 is remaining. 6 times 2, 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. Then 144 centimeters is the height of Kasi. Question number 13. Fill in the blanks. 12,480 uh, kilograms is equal to how many tons? To convert amount of kilograms into tons, we have to divide it by 1000. So the answer is 12.48 tons. Then question number 14. We are given this 6a squared minus 15ab plus 18abc we can take the common factors out 3 is common then a is also common as a appears in all terms all the three terms here so we can take a out then if you divide this term by 3 here you get 2a Minus, dividing this by 3a, 5b plus, then this one, 6bc. Then question number 15, we are given this diagram, find the value of y. Here we have vertically opposite angles here, pair of vertically opposite angles. y plus 90 is equal to 165. So I can find y by subtracting 90 from 165. 75 is the answer. 75 degrees is the magnitude of y. Then question number 16. Find the HCF of uh, 4x squared y, 12xy and 8xy squared. 4x squared y. Then 12xy. And 8xy squared. I can expand the uh, factors here. 2 times 2 times x times x times y. Then this one, 2 times 2 times 3, x times y. Then this one, 2 times 2 times 2, x times y times y. Now I can uh, find uh, common factors here, common numbers. We can uh, circle this two. Then another two can be circled as two appears in the uh, three expressions. Then uh, x can taken out. 
in another y. So we have to take the multiple of these selected numbers and terms. HCF is equal to 2 times 2 times x times y. Then 4xy is the answer. Question number 17. Number of edges and faces of a solid are 10, 6, 10 and 6 respectively. Find the number of vertices. We know that Euler's relationship uh, for solids with straight edges is number of faces plus number of vertices equal to number of edges plus 2. So, uh, we can substitute the given values here. Number of faces here is Six. Six plus V. Then number of edges is given as ten. Ten plus two. Then V equal to ten plus two is twelve. Twelve minus six. That is six. So six faces. Six vertices. Then question number eighteen. We are given this. Uh, minus thirty six. Divide by minus 6 multiplying by minus 2. Minus 36 divide by minus 6 uh, multiplied by minus 2 is plus 12. Two negative numbers it becomes positive. Then th 36 divided by 12 is 3. As this is negative the answer is minus 3. Then question number 19, we are given this uh, quadrilateral, find the value of x. Uh, we can write the equation as the in exterior angle sum of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So x plus uh, 110 plus 105 plus 85 is 360 degrees. We can write x plus 300. The addition here is 300. Equal to 360. So x is equal to 360 minus 300 is 60 degrees. Question number 20. General term of a number pattern is 2n minus 1. Find 120... Uh, 25th term of the number pattern. We have to substitute 125 for n here. 2 multiplied by 125 minus 1. Then uh, 250 minus 1 equal to 249.